All righty, sports time now with David and boxing. Back with a bang in Bundaberg. It certainly was. Good evening, Paul. Nice to see you again. The prestigious golden belt buckle was on the line. We'll have more on that next. And the wait's over. Sunshine Coast Sea Eagles finally snapped their long Q Cup losing streak. You confident young man. There you go. That is the night in sport. Paul, back to you. Thank you, David. All right, stay with us. Hannah McEwen will have the weather details next. Good evening and it's been a lovely start to the week with plenty of sunshine and little to no rainfall and it looks to stay that way for most of the week. Let's have a look at some of the temperatures for our regional centres today. In Cairns we saw temps range between 19 to 25 degrees. A bit of cloud cover rolling into Townsville but remaining mostly dry. We got to a top of 24 degrees today after an overnight low of 15. For Mackay temperatures range between 10 to 21 degrees. A bit of a fresh start for Emerald down to 8 degrees overnight up to 23 into the afternoon with lots of sunshine. For Rocky, a bit of cloud cover rolling in, but it did remain dry with a top of 23 degrees today. For Gladstone, temperatures range between 9 to 23. In Bundaberg, we saw a top of 23 degrees also today after an overnight low of 10. For Dolby, temps range between 2 to 19 degrees, so a fresh start to the day and similar weather on the way tomorrow. For Maroochydore, generally a dry day. There were a few light coastal showers around through parts of southeast Queensland. A little bit windy outside as well and we got to a top of 21 degrees for the city. In Toowoomba, temperatures range between 6 to 17 degrees. Now let's have a look at the satellite chart. You can see a little bit of cloud cover rolling into the southeastern parts of the state and also along the north tropical coast and that's with these fresh and gusty onshore winds. Now winds have been quite fresh across most of the state. It was a cold morning through the inland with some light frost through the south. Apart from that, conditions have been fine and dry today. Now tomorrow we're going to see this high start to weaken so as a result winds will start to ease across the state. Now we will still see a few showers again through the southeast coast and a few of the islands as well will pick up a few light showers. For the north tropical coast where those winds are tending onshore, we'll see a bit of cloud cover and a few light showers as well. Through the inland, some morning frosts are likely again through the southern and the southeast interior. So let's have a look now at some of our district forecasts for the northern areas. A partly cloudy day, some isolated coastal showers, uh, light to moderate south to southeasterly winds, becoming a little fresh from the southeast along the coast. Through the southern areas, we've got a partly cloudy day. Uh, isolated showers for the islands and the exposed parts of the coastline with light to moderate southeasterly winds. We may see a little bit of frost through the inland as well. Uh, those winds will be fresh along the coast and also for the islands. For the southern areas, we've got a partly cloudy day, isolated coastal showers with gusty southeasterly winds and some early inland frost expected. So temperatures will be a little bit cooler than what we did see this morning. Let's have a look at tomorrow's temperatures for our regional centres. 18 to 26 degrees for Cairns. We can expect a few light showers. For Townsville, a top of 24 degrees tomorrow with an overnight low of 13 degrees. For Mackay, temperatures range between 9 to 22 tomorrow. For Rocky, a top of 22 and remaining fine and sunny. In Emerald, a top of 22 degrees also on the forecast. For Harvey Bay, 10 to 20 tomorrow. In Maroochydore, a top of 21 degrees as forecast. And for Toowoomba, temperatures should range between 5 and 16 degrees. Have a lovely evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Hannah. And that is it for us this evening from the team. Good night. Good night. This has been a Win News presentation from Win Television, Australia's largest commercial television network.